Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, Kodus Arcade. In this section, we will learn how to make an audio book with the help of Python. Before starting the video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos with your friends and family. And at the same time, please subscribe to our channel, Kodus Arcade, and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates. And also, you do not miss out on our future uploads. Thank you. So now, let's get started without wasting any more time. As I said, today's topic is how you can make an audio book with the help of Python. So as you can see here, I am inside my PyCharm ID and I will go to my project panel. And here in my Codus Arcade directory, I will go to my workspace, which is my subdirectory and here I will right click and create a new python file. Say audiobook. And press enter. And let me just minimize this panel. Okay. Now, to make an audiobook, what my target is, I want to show you how this audiobook will actually read a PDF file and tell you all the content in an automated mode. So for that, I have to import two modules. The two modules are py pdf2 and the second one is py ttsx3. The first module is pypdf2 which is for reading PDF files and the second module is Py text to speech version 3, which is for converting text to audio. And now let me show you how you can use this two modules. Before using these modules, you have to import this module. So I'll go to my terminal and here I will type pip install py pdf2 and press enter. And as I have already installed this, it will say requirement already satisfied. Let me show you. You can see requirement already satisfied. It's here. Requirement already satisfied. So let me again do it for the other module, which is pip install py ttsx3. So it is to convert text to speech. I'll press enter and this is also installed in my system. So it will also say requirement already satisfied. As you can see here, requirement already satisfied. So these two modules have been installed might be earlier. So this is a saying requirement already satisfied. For you, it might not be installed. So you have to install these two modules. Then only you can make the program audiobook. So let me minimize the screen and now I will import these two modules. Import py pdf2. As you can see here, when I write capital P, it gives me this suggestion. I'll press enter. And then I'll import the other module also, which is py ttsx3. And here I have to initialize a variable so that I can store my PDF file into that. And let me show you one thing. I will minimize the PyCharm screen. And here you can see on my desktop, I have this PDF, Think Python, second edition. And in my PyCharm, let me go back and show you in the project panel. Here you can see in my workspace, I already have this Think Python 2 PDF pasted in this directory. So now what I will do is I will minimize this project panel and initialize a variable reader so that I can store my PDF file or load it. So the command is py pdf2 dot. You can see here as I press dot, I get this PDF file reader option. So I'll press enter and in the parenthesis, I will write open and inside the bracket, as you can see here, it's asking me the name of the file or the location. So inside the parenthesis, I will provide the name which is think and as soon as I write th you can see if I give i it's giving me the suggestion think python second 
and I'll press enter. So now this has been loaded, but I want to open this file in a certain mode so that it can be read. So I have many different modes to open files. What I want is for this file to be opened in read mode with binary. So I will use RB. So you guys have to remember this RB mode is to open a file in the reading mode with binary. So this is done. Now I have to initialize my speaker or the audiobook so that it can read the text inside this think python second.pdf. So let me initialize the variable speaker is equal to pyttsx3 dot and as soon as I press dot I have the initialize method or the init. This is actually the driver which will activate the speaker so that it can speak and press enter. So this is done. Now, so that I can iterate over the pages in the PDF file, I will use a for loop. So for, let me take a loop variable, say page number in range, I will use the range function. And then what I will do is, I have an option reader, which is my reader variable. And if I press the dot operator, you can see that I get many methods. I will use this num pages method. You can see here, I have many methods. From this, I will use the num pages method and press enter. And after that, I will give the same colon and press enter. And now I have to take a variable so that I can read the pages from the extracted PDF file. So let the variable be data is equal to, then I have to call my reader variable. And if I press the dot, you can see I have all the methods. So I will use the get page method here and press enter. And it's asking me for the parameters. So for me, the parameter will be page number. So page underscore number, as you can see here which was my loop variable. And after that, if I press dot, I have only three methods as you can see here, but these three are not required for me. I want another method which is extract text and followed by the parentheses. This is an extra method so that I can extract the text from the PDF. After this, I have to tell the speaker to speak out the text from the PDF file. This line of code data equal to reader dot get page page number dot extract text actually extracts the text or the data from the PDF file. Now I have to tell my speaker variable speaker dot I have to tell my speaker to talk or to say as you can see here I have the method say and press enter. And what will actually this speaker say? It will say or tell or read out the data here in this variable. So I have to call this data variable here, data. This is done. And after that, I have to tell my speaker variable to run this data or speak out this data and then wait for more instructions. So speaker dot you can see run and wait self. So if I press enter, it will actually run and keep on telling the data as long as I don't tell the speaker to stop. After that, as I am done with the reading of the text, what I will do is I'll come out of the for loop and then I have the method speaker dot stop. So after my reading of the pages or the data is done, I will tell my speaker variable to stop so that my audiobook can stop. So this is it guys, this is done. Now, in the meantime, what I've done is I have opened the PDF file here so that I can show you what actually the audiobook will be reading for me. So let me just run this program here in PyCharm so that I can show you what actually is happening. So I will right click here and run this audiobook. 
And let me go here. Alan B. Downey. Think. Python. How to think like a computer scientist. Second edition. Updated for Python 3. Alan B. Downey. Think Python. Second edition. 978-1-491-93936-9. LSI. Think Python. By Alan B. Downey. Copyright 2016 Alan Downey. All rights reserved. Printed in the United States of America. Published by O'Reilly Media, Inc., 1005 Gravenstein Highway North, Sebastopol, CA 95472. O'Reilly books may be purchased for educational, business, or sales promotional use. Online editions are. So, guys, you can see that as soon as I run the program, my audiobook goes to this PDF and reads the data and speaks it out. So this is how the audiobook is actually working. It extracts the data and stores it into a variable and then I tell my speaker to read it out. So it reads it out for me. So in this way you can download any other files and upload it to your Python folder and then you can tell your compiler with the help of these two modules to read them out for you. So this is how you can make an audiobook with the help of Python. So I hope you have understood the logic behind this code. If you have any doubts in this, you can post them in the comment section. And if you like this video, please don't forget, forget to subscribe to our channel Code Circuit. So this is it for today. Till then, thank you and happy learning. See you in our next section.